guys, I'm starting off this tutorial by using my Pantone and Sephora color correcting palette. I'm picking up a light peach shade and a very pale light pink and putting this right underneath my eyes to get rid of that purpley and blue shades down there. And then to color correct the redness around my nose, on my nose and on my cheek, I'm using the green shade from that same palette. For foundation today, I'm going with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. I'm using the one that it comes with to just apply it to my face, and then I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge to blend it all out. Quick first impression, this foundation looks really, really good on my skin. I'm going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden and blending it out with this Morphe brush that came in the vegan brush set. I'm using a Real Technique setting brush to pick up some MAC Mineralize Skin Finish to just set that primer down. I didn't want to bore you guys, so I filled in my eyebrows off camera, and now we're jumping right into the Shan XO palette. I'm picking up that yellow shade and putting this in my crease and blending it upwards. This is going to be a transition color. This isn't my favorite transition color. I wish she had like a nice light brown, but this yellow is just going to have to do. It kind of reminds me of mac and cheese. And then I'm going in with that reddish shade, and this is going more precisely into the crease. And then I am blending upwards, but not as far up as that yellow shade. So now I'm picking up this kind of like dark charcoal gray shade, it's completely matte. It's going right into the crease. I just wanted a little bit more definition and I thought this would be the perfect shade. So I wanted a dark base for the lid shade that I'm going to use, so I decided to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I didn't want it super opaque, which is why I put it on my finger first and then blended it out onto my lid. Um, so here I'm picking up the duochrome shade. It's a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a lot of red I feel like. If you have the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and you have that definer shade, this is very similar. I feel like the Shannon shade is just a little bit more red, um, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. I love this color. So I just packed it all over the lid and then I'm just gonna blend it out very lightly with just a Sigma E25, um, nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna go in with this beautiful like light champagne shade and this is going in the inner corners. I wanted a little bit of brightness, so that's why I decided to use that shade. So I wanted a little bit of a better transition. I picked up that duochrome color and lightly put it into my crease. If you're having issues with a nice gradient, just apply your lid shade in the crease a little bit and it'll be a lot better. Here I picked up that mac and cheese color and I'm just blending out the edges of my eyeshadow. And then I'm using the Rainforest of the Sea Concealer by Tarte. This is my favorite concealer right now. I love it. It gives good coverage and it's not drying. So it is a perfect concealer for me. I love it. So to highlight my brow bone, I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette and putting it right underneath my eyebrow. To highlight a little bit more, I'm taking the shimmery color and putting it right at the arch of my eyebrow. I've been doing this a lot lately and I love the way it looks. And then going in with my regular eyeliner, I'm doing my regular eyeliner routine. It's the Physician's Formula Eye Booster and that's what my eyeliner looks like. And then moving right along to setting my concealer, I'm using that Master Fix Loose Powder by Maybelline and just setting my under eyes also my forehead and chin. Okay, almost done with the eyes. I'm taking that dual chrome shade and pretty much dragging it across my whole lower lash line. I am leaving the inner portions blank because I'm gonna put that very shimmery champagne color there. 
Going in with that reddish brown, I'm just blending out that whole lower lash line just to give a more blended look. The lower lash line is just as important as your lids, guys, so keep that in mind. I'm using a dark black matte eyeliner for my waterline. Couldn't get that sentence out for a second, and I'm not redoing this voiceover. And now I'm just using L'Oreal's Telescopic for my lashes. And then going on to the face, I'm using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in medium and setting my whole face. And then using the Anastasia Contour Kit. This shade is spawn and just contouring my cheeks lightly on my temples and also my jawline. Now to bronze up my face, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in 01. Because my eyes are very warm, I wanted to use a very warm bronzer, so that's why I picked this one. And I'm just going over the same areas where I contoured. I did contour my jawline a little bit, I didn't put a clip in, so please don't kill me. For blush, I'm using NARS Orgasm. Haven't used that in forever, but it's so pretty. And then to highlight, I'm using Laura Geller's Geller's bleh, Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. It is so pretty. If you're fair, you can't go crazy with this highlighter because it will look very like yellow and gold. But if you just go very lightly like what I did, you'll be fine. Blended all of that out and then I am just baking a little bit. I don't do this often, but today I felt like I had to. Don't know why. So I just used that same Maybelline Loose Powder. This is what it looks like. Blended all of that away. Sorry for the lighting. It was a very like cloudy day that day. And then for lips, I'm using Dolce K by Kylie Cosmetics. And then the tutorial is complete. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.